Bro, you know you can ride a fucking tiger now in Diablo? A tiger? Yeah. Instead of horses, you can ride tigers too. Oh my god. <laughs> That'll get the players back in there. I mean, I, I haven't even played the new... Um... Rabid savages is what they are. How much that gonna cost me? I don't know. Too damn much. It'll probably... Uh, I don't know. You know what, man? I'm not going to lie to you. It looks really cool. I just, I can't bite that bullet. There you go. <laughs> I can't bite that bullet. That's, that's I really can't. Itchy. Nope. It's cool. That, Somebody comes by nope. and jumps off the tiger. It's that volley of arrows. Nope. Then I'm you... good, man. Good. There's nothing about that that <laughs> I want. It's the portal back to town. <laughs> okay, bitch. <laughs> yeah, there's uh... a... <laughs> I'm not going to pull a Chris, okay? <laughs> Give up my horse for a tiger just because I seen somebody do some wild shit off of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do that. It's sad, man. I'd like to really get into that game. A buddy of mine uh, said this season was really good. The leveling was really nice. But he's like, you're really only going to get about 40, maybe 50 hours out of it. And that doesn't it's still that seems like a lot, but it's not, though. If you've played are Diablo you, at all. You're talking about in terms of like how the way the game is structured yeah it's way different like, than playing a story based yeah hmm. yeah but he was saying you know 40 40 to 50 hours i mean you would think that's a lot but just in my memory of diablo that's not a lot of time yeah. like it's really not like just the way the game's kind of just structured as you're going through things you know what i mean because you're expecting we're just expecting division level type uh engagement like hundreds of hours uh, yeah or plenty of content to keep you going a good game loop to keep you interested um, yeah but that, then again that, i guess because they did got the way they do their new uber uniques or whatever i i guess there's a lot of replayability or the chase factor but uh i don't know i really think it's interesting that division wants to i guess assimilate your stats from your seasonal character over and they still let you keep the character and it progresses your main character i just think that that kind of just poo poos <laughs> on that just exclusive seasonal character then yeah i like that system like 10 times better what that's amazing and then they have modifiers to the actual gameplay like okay all right you, you definitely got the attention for sure since we were just talking the about wait sorry go ahead no, go ahead. Other since we're talking about uh, Diablo, they are getting a new expansion called Vessel of Hatred. Uh, mm -hmm. Release date is October 8th of this year. Uh, did you see that trailer? I did. My I God. Did. <laughs> it's visceral. I don't know. You know what? I know I, I know I didn't jump back on it this season because that's because I'm literally addicted to a different game right now. But I think the DLC might, or expansion or whatever they want to call it, I think that might be worth taking a look at because they're even going to give you a new character too. Now, I'm not sure how good it's going to be because a mercenary sounds a lot like an assassin. Nice. But, uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Yeah. Their cinematics are always great. I love oh. watching them. Like, oh, that, that last one before you beat the game? Ooh, yes, exactly. You could have made that into a movie a standalone by itself. You could easily make a Diablo animated series on Netflix. You know what I love about that that game is I'm not a <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna admit this. I'm not a cutscene person, like at all. Don't care, don't wanna see it, get me to the gameplay. But that their cutscenes are so well done. It is an insane. I don't wanna thing hear your to crap see. either. <laughs> Especially in a story-driven game. I don't care. <laughs> you need to get out here. There's a big three-headed dog chasing me. What do you mean? I'm watching Bro, the cutscene. I don't care. Get out of the cutscene. <laughs> Bro was getting attacked. While I was still trying to enjoy the work that has been put together to try and immerse you in this world. He oh just my god. It's so freaking funny, man. Hey, man, what's, that, what's the story about? What are we doing over here? You didn't watch it? No. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't do any of that. That's what I got you for. Uh, looks good though. Yeah, it looks 
it looks great uh we'll definitely check it out when it's when it releases um, another good thing is ever that's going to be available day one on game pass okay it's uh, nice they're going um, hard on the game pass stuff absolutely bro um black ops 6 did you see the trailer for this i did i did i just a... <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know <laughs> well it's gonna be released friday on october 25th so <laughs> it'd be a great way to spend the rest of your night on uh, on friday grab a beer and you know ways and get on there and just start you working. know what <laughs> here's a <laughs> here's the thing about call of duty i guess it's a love-hate relationship like i know what i'm getting and it's going to anger me but i still have to try it and see i think yeah, the only I call of duty i haven't tried was cold war but their beta that they released for Cold War was atrocious. But you know what? <laughs> this this game doesn't look uh, doesn't look that bad. I mean, we'll see kind of where we are in the whole gaming side. But I'll definitely give it a try. I'm open minded for it. You know, you can't I'll... do worse than Battlefield did in ruining Christmas. They <laughs> <laughs> really did ruin that whole holiday. It was so bad. Long. Forty-five days. I was so pissed um i it's funny because i used to play a lot of cod back in the day during the golden age and I, it was always a joke as to why are y'all telling me to play campaign first before i hop into multiplayer i'm jumping right into this campaign i'm not, oh absolutely like i mean i'm jumping yeah i'm jumping right into the multiplayer i mean like i'm not really bothering with this campaign right now i need to prestige right now today so i can keep up yeah. with my friends but now I've kind of like reversed at this point. I'm like, oh, I'm interested in seeing what they did with the campaign this time. I'm not really interested in going online. Although they, they're they adding this new omnidirectional movement. Did you see that? Yeah. I mean, that's cool. I guess I mean, it's different. But, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays out. Break that you know. Movement. Gonna, yes. They got they had broken the movement on Modern Warfare 3. Guys are looking like they were running on all fours. It's yeah, it's crowd. not it's not gonna take long for them. You know that the level cap ceiling to that game from day one is off the charts. Yeah. So I don't know. But one thing I will say, you know, talking about Call of Duty and like its heyday, Call of Duty uh Modern Warfare 2 had one of the most iconic, fantastic realism freaking missions ever that is still iconic today when um they were infiltrating that house it's just it's one of the greatest missions ever i don't know what the mission's called but it's just iconic so it's just one of those things that kind of grip you and want to bring it back in it's just i understand why everybody's so heavily driven you know on the multiplayer because of the monetization you know want to hate it or love it it's business i hate it as a consumer because I'm spending money on something virtual, but that's my choice. But as a business, I understand why they do it. But yeah. you got to get back to that campaign sometimes. It's just, that's what makes you go, okay, this is awesome. And it refreshes that that multiplayer experience, at least for me. I I would be fine. Would Actually, you? no. <laughs> I <laughs> Thank would you. be fine. I wish the way that they presented the game but just get me to the title screen immediately. Don't immediately like don't push a store in my face before I can yeah. even press X to start. There is a shop window like, hey, you sure you don't want to buy this bitch? I just started <laughs> up the game. I just installed. <laughs> can you give me a chance to just what? get in here and look around first? It's like those annoying GameStop employees where you're just trying to find that one game like, hey, do you need anything? Like, I understand no. you're just trying to do your job, but no, bro, I don't really need, I don't want. 99% um, of the time, I know what I want. Right. I'm here, I'm here for want, a mission. <laughs> I don't want your card or the Game Informer subscription. Keep your Cheeto all. fingers over there. <laughs> I know about, I know more about this game than you do. I already know what I'm looking for. <laughs> right. But I'm just, I just don't like that. Like the advertisements are just so like, they're Was just it, so in your face not 2019 the one that was after that just modern warfare i think it was yeah because it was um cold war where they had the campaign cold war multiplayer and then they had 
like you can upgrade to the bundles on the left and then when you got in it was the store that they were trying to press stuff it's like god dang y'all my bank account already okay <laughs> and then i'm like i'm not gonna do it and then i see a ghost or a grim reaper skin and i'm like well shit they got you <laughs> i guess i guess we're gonna have to do that one <laughs> And then oh, I'm complaining man. the entire time that right. it, for a skin that I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Only in I, when would you see it? Like if you were loading screen, <laughs> <laughs> loading screen exactly. is when you see it. Me getting on that damn C130. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, crazy what we pay for now. Yeah, also, by the way, stupid. just want to end a nice little uh, thing at the end. The game will be over 300 gigabytes. So have fun with God, that. that game is a bully boy 300 gigabytes that's a lot because i believe warzone is automatically comes with the game but they didn't i, I believe that i don't but I, I can't understand why else the game would be over 300 gigabytes if warzone wasn't already uploaded on there i don't know they need to have a way for you to just be able to download the game and nothing else like let the consumer you know pick what Part they want to download we're at that I don't, yeah that i think that's a bad thing about one of the last call of duties where you had to have the campaign downloaded and all bitch i'm not playing the campaign like i'm not touching it right now i don't like exactly. your, you don't even have a campaign it's two missions i don't want to do it but <laughs> what i actually think is very interesting is the fact that sony sony xbox you know whatever right besides pcs because that that's a different realm like you know some of these games are massive and you start like you deliver out your consoles at 250 gigabytes like what yeah what are we doing or 500 gigabytes or like why aren't we getting terabits at this point you know what i mean like why do i gotta go spend two three hundred dollars when the first comes out to go get a terabyte that's gonna fit right like you know what i'm saying like where it's like bitch you know call of duty is gonna take this entire memory right oh, like yeah. i can't play anything out and so <laughs> you're gonna have hit that's gonna be your only triple a game that's gonna be downloading get your two indie games maybe three and you god forbid they come out with that update and push another 55 gigabytes onto yeah. there <laughs> <laughs> taking yeah. every game off that playstation but yeah friday october 25th look out for it it'll um, be exciting doom the dark ages i am hella excited for I'm this i'm not gonna lie to you might be might be a day one the day that game one looks absolutely looks super exciting they're releasing in 2025 we don't have a month yet but this is going to be a prequel game to the uh to the franchise it'll be releasing uh day one to game pass and it'll be available on pc and playstation 5. did you notice that on one of those rapid fire guns he was loading yep yep yes mm -hmm. he was loading yep. um skulls in there and it was like shredding yep. the skulls and making them into projectiles. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, did you that's what i told you it's, it's, it's about a day one i'm in we were fighting in a mech suit against a big a kaiju i'm in i don't care i'm in Why dragons i'm in you know you gotta tell me about it i'm in <laughs> i'm in i'm in all day i saw it and i literally kept it moving i was like yep i'm good i saw everything i need to see here I'm good. <laughs> really after, am. I'm good. After the kaiju and the mech and the mech bout, I was like, yeah, this. Yeah. Put, totally like, sold. Turn that volume all the way up. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm I might just unplug the headphones and just let it go right to the surround sound. Right. <laughs> uh Fallout 76, I'm not really concerned about this. I'm, I wasn't a big fan of this game at all. Mm -hmm. uh, at its release, it was a broken mess at release. And I just these type of games don't really appeal to me i like my rpgs being able to play solo by myself because that's how i get the best experience um but they are yeah. doing the, um an expansion called skyline by valley um it'll expand the game the game's map and introduce a sh i think that's called shenandoah region in the south so oh, that's kind of cool those of you still playing have fun with that I'm um, yeah absolutely i mean if that's your type of game i'm glad to see it's still getting updates. uh updates and and uh at least new iterations of it that's kind of cool what were you gonna say or i thought you had something else no no, no 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 you're good you're good okay uh world of warcraft the war uh the war within another expansion this will be the 10th expansion uh that's crazy this is, yeah uh, it's coming out august 26. uh there will be oh. three additions to this expansion I'll tell you what, that fan base goes hard, boy. 
Did you Jacob, hear about this? so hard. Yes, I heard you. Three additions to an expansion. But you know what, though? But you know what? Good for them, man. <laughs> like, not good. I haven't played Warcraft or World of Warcraft. Sorry, to be grammatically correct here. Like, I haven't played one of those games in forever. Like, that's just being transparent. But Jesus, Ghost. Lord, that fan base goes hard. Ghost. Yes. The epic edition for this expansion. Don't tell me it's four hundred dollars. It's oh, okay. Seventy five dollars. The price of a full game. You get beta but access how much, and three days early access. But how much content do you get from it though? I that I really does know. mean really, something because because I would have paid seventy bucks for Ghost of Tsushima. If knowing what I, I know now, forty. I would have paid. I think forty or thirty would have been a good amount for. I yeah, goes to Tsushima. But I, well, Tsushima I, was hard body. I know that's the epic. I mean, the base edition is $40, but I, it's just insane to me. That's the price of a full a full AAA game, and they're selling an expansion for that price. It must be hella content in that. Um, well, I mean, what's... um? I know it's escaping me right now. Um, big game that's out. Elden Ring. I mean, their, their DLC's... 40 and 50 dollars or uh yeah 40 and 50 dollars so it's not far off from kind of what the probably the new norm is that's going to be coming that's true i'm just not happy to see it and didn't they also have like a 250 dollar um elector something edition yeah for elden ring yeah it came with the statue yeah dragon ball uh sparking zero is going to do the same thing and i don't know that Oh, absolutely. That's like when they released the uh, the Master Chief helmet with Halo. When you got that special edition. I'm not going to lie to you. That was hard when it came out. <laughs> there really was. I don't care what anybody says. It was awesome. Didn't one of those, didn't one of those Halos, they gave you a, a helmet if you bought a certain edition? Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, they gave you the Master Chief helmet when you bought the limited edition collector's cool. premium plus whatever. Hell yeah. <laughs> totally in. I didn't buy it because I couldn't buy it at the right. time absolutely talking in a deep ass voice too <laughs> mom comes in what the hell are you doing leave me alone <laughs> i swear <laughs> get out of here <laughs> this is the man your place <laughs> <laughs> why are you talking like that leave me alone <laughs> uh something i did not expect in the show was metal gear solid snake eater oh uh, let's go i will I at least try that 100 percent here um I it's hate <laughs> If it's remotely good, yeah, you'll you you've lost me for a while. I didn't get to enjoy these games as a kid, living in a hyper religious household with very limited yeah, access to up. those things. Uh, <laughs> so you weren't playing Diablo on your computer at eleven o'clock at night. Okay, that's. <laughs> uh, that was not happening whatsoever. But um, this was released back all the way back in two thousand four. Such a good game. Published by Konami, obviously. Uh, scheduled for release later this year. I am definitely. I didn't expect to see any gameplay, but the game looks great. Uh, I can't wait. I love extreme like stealth games like that. Such Metal a good game. And like, Metal Gear always game. hits the spot for stuff like that. I mean, Add we still talk about Phantom Pain. Right. Oh yeah, we're overdue for a good. A oh, good, absolutely. A hundred percent. If Especially you, on these new generations. Oh, if, Lord. If Ubisoft Ford had a Splinter Cell, if they did like a surprise like gameplay reveal of Splinter Cell, out of game all you, plus. You all you would have had to there. do? Do you know what would be a great advertisement for that? You don't have to do anything. Just have a black screen and have the night vision goggles pop up and right, just release a all, date. Yeah, exactly. Only what? The internet would go freaking crazy. <laughs> exactly. That's, that, that signature sound. That That's has, it. Yeah, that That's it. 100% it. They, they just take my money, minds. throw it at them. I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, Starfield mm. getting their first expansion to the game uh, called Shattered Space. Uh, releasing later in the fall. Uh, Todd Howard said we can't wait to share more with you uh, next year but listen if this expansion doesn't get rid of them loading screens miss me because I don't care um, all of the characters are uh, boring Mary Sue's ain't nobody got a personality nobody okay, <laughs> okay. you want to talk about it 
loading screens in the elevators, loading screens to get up on my ship, loading screens to get outside. In space, yeah, that's loading screens that's, to go into the planet. I tell you what, even even Star Citizen in the broken state it was six months ago didn't have loading screens. Now the gameplay wasn't great, <laughs> but like at some point we've got to move past loading screens. I ain't lying, like. Man extended loading screens not everything has to be gta like right i don't know what the the drug addiction is to us staying in the clouds for as long as we did <laughs> but that was also 13 years ago this is a game that was just released we got to get exactly. past loading screens we're done with that uh spider-man had a light a loading screen so fast by the time you finish like holding x you're already there that's insane so i'm talking about yeah that's quick well, good luck with that. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I hope they have some success. Absolutely. I don't want to see anybody fail, but like I said, take them loading screens out. Um, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Uh, is it the Great? You ain't got on. Yeah, here. Great you, Circle. I was about to say, he's over here trying to mess me up with these notes. Yeah, you, got you know, a machine on here. What, what game is that? I don't know what that at. What the Great Machine? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, um, man! But that's him getting up at the ass crack of dawn yes. and then yeah, not true. going to sleep. Him not getting no sleep. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. right. You've been called out, sir. <laughs> uh, it'd be a first-person action adventure game set in 1937, set between the events of Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade. Me personally, um, I'm admitting something. I'm being vulnerable here with you guys. I have You're never weak. seen it. I mean, go ahead. <laughs> What? Oh I hell! I've never seen an no. Indiana Jones movie from Star Log Star off. <laughs> log off. Just go ahead. Log <laughs> off. This is so disappointing. I don't know why I do this now. <laughs> Conflicted. Not a single have one. You, I've never. Uh, -uh. <laughs> have you seen any of the original Star Wars from start Absolutely. to finish? Yeah, I've watched it. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Okay, all right, that's yeah. fine. Okay. Are you sure I got those in? <laughs> barely redeemed yourself we're going to talk about Bitch. this off, <laughs> off recording <laughs> but yeah uh -huh. I, I always like to see you know uh people taking a stab at like some of these movie uh franchises bringing them into the game i can't remember there's been another indiana jones it, game probably should pretty sure there, there, may has, been. Right? there may have been um i'm not entirely sure i just hope they do it right though because sometimes when you do those um the crossovers uh sometimes they're a little rough and yeah, um true. i hope they do i hope they hit it right because that would be a great great game to play yep uh but yeah i've just it's not something i am personally interested in playing but i'm pretty sure a lot of people can't wait to get their hands people love indiana jones you know what there uh there was there's lego indiana jones there's indiana jones I'm thinking this is Lost Temple, The Emperor's Tomb. I don't know if that's a game or I know the other one, the first one I said, that's an actual uh, um, console game. That's a Lego game. But uh, yeah, that was out. That was on PlayStation 3. So yeah, definitely. Uh... Oh, there was two iterations of it. Huh. Well, look at that. <laughs> You know what though? I bet you that Lego game goes hard though. I was just about to say that. So anything Lego does is always great. Yeah, I mean, I'll look at it. I don't know if I'll really play it, but I'll look at it. I mean, I, I like Indiana Jones. It's nostalgic. Day one Game Pass, so it wouldn't. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what else we got? Last one that I wanted to mention. Um, Years that's of War. E Day. Ooh, buddy. Another thing, I have never played a Gears game from start to finish. Uh, this is my time to get into it because apparently this is set 14 years before the first first game. First one. Yep. Also built up, built from the ground up with Unreal Engine 5. Uh, they show young yeah, versions of Marcus and Dom. It's gonna be and, a good one for sure. Yeah, I'm really uh, looks like they got. Uh, hopefully, get a good story enough to rope me in it anyway, and hopefully it's co-op play the campaign all the way through together. that would be nice that would be nice uh, if they if they i just really i'm gonna go way off topic here can we can we please i don't care who's out there listening can we please get an army of two game again i'm just gonna leave it there anything remotely 
similar co-op just co yeah Cain and Abel I don't care yeah Those, something like that would just be amazing continue like the <laughs> uh, this is described as an origin story uh, showing the horror of Locust invasion on Emergence Day in the eyes of Marcus uh, releasing on Xbox and PC so mm. all in all this is what I would consider an a it's a good line. lineup yeah it's a good lineup there's a lot of games here that i want to play and try out which is the purpose of these uh little conferences um i mean everything i geez. saw just about everything absolutely. i saw looked, looked great absolutely i mean i know we just talked about it you know without doing this but like flight simulator might even be good to kind of jump on to and just kind of play around i mean especially because you got flight sticks for sources and that might be really cool stalker 2 absolutely yes, is going to be too. amazing um that mecca i can't even remember what it was like mecca break yeah absolutely, absolutely. Yep. that's going down in the dms 100 percent. it's uh i'm glad you know i got i got uh i stayed away from my xbox for for a long time now to play playstation but if they're going to go subscription based where they're going to put you know they're going to run a game pass and that's how they're going to do business i'm proud of them for not putting like third tier games on there thinking they're going to survive like they're bringing some like hitters to it Heavy so I, I i appreciate that um and as much as you know the industry might mock them for doing that right now they might be onto something and i i think that's something interesting to see it play out a little bit i'm also interested because these are not these aren't like double a or indie games that are coming these are triple a titles coming straight to a subscription that you pay ten dollars for i want to know what kind of deals they are making videos to make sure that they get the maximum profit especially when you look at because i heard a stat the other day here recently but um, the stat was PlayStations are outpacing Xboxes five to one. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you look at PlayStation's lineup for like they've been putting out some really hard hitters like for years, and it's been a long. I can't remember the last time Xbox had a exclusive title that made it mm -hmm. into like the Game of the Year category. Right. It was either Nintendo or PlayStation. Yeah, Nintendo's are. I mean, you can't you can't really go wrong with Nintendo's. I mean, that's just right. That's you just, know, you hit a Mario game and you're you're just printing money at that point. <laughs> um, I was asking X on one of our other videos. I was like, "Do you think, um, like because of the success of Power World, do you think that Game Freak developers will try and replicate like a similar game?" Or will they just put out the same stuff they've always been doing? <laughs> and he said that would change. <laughs> They're going to put out I'm... the same game, make it red or well, blue or purple. I don't even know. What's the difference in the colors? Do you know? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, On the original ones, I think you, you got something. I can't remember. You got to remember when those came out, that was... 27 28 years ago when i was playing it um there was something that was different to them to be honest i had the red one which was charmander the absolute oh, okay. freaking legend with it and then a buddy of mine had the blue one which was uh squirtle and another one of our friends had um the green one which was bulbasaur so we had the three and i guess later on they came out with the yellow one which was pikachu but oh is that so, is that determining your starter pokemon no because you get to choose them Oh, okay. still um but there was something that came with it to, but to be honest with you i'm not going to say because there's somebody that might listen to this and be like you're an idiot you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> i'm sure there was but i don't i don't remember what what it was it was a long time ago who cares <laughs> phenomenal like a phenom game though like it changed oh, <laughs> wildly i remember so. kids bringing their like uh like their whole like portfolio of cards crazy like on the bus I'm like bro what is going on proud <laughs> proud right show loud and proud oh yep don't touch them you're gonna get your greasy ass fingers <laughs> all over it <laughs> and people still trade them today just as a what 
Yeah, for thousands it is. of dollars. Well, I don't... Okay, we're going to go real off topic here. Did you hear the fact that Post Malone bought a $2 million Magic the Gathering? Yes. Like a Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering card? Yeah. What's going on? He bid against himself? <laughs> like, what's happening? Did you also see that skin that sold him uh, Counter-Strike for a mil over a million? Ooh, what what skin was it? I don't know. It was a really rare skin. I don't know what the... Uh, what the name i can't remember yeah so for over a million dollars on counter-strike yes no for a skin bro over a million doubloons or a skin no. that's no. where we're at as consumers now <laughs> no oh i i just i don't understand that that doesn't make sense why would you pay that much that's crazy collectors i got it you uh, don't That's yeah it. but i don't i don't understand this is it right here csgo skin worth around 1 million finally discovered after 10 years yep. so it looks like i mean it's on a ak 47 uh variant i'm guessing that's probably what it is or rpk something like that and it's like a titanium kind of uh skin it's kind of, it looks like uh what's that like a burnt like a torch yeah like when you take yeah. a torch to metal and it has like that blue type uh, yeah to it. yeah it looks like yeah that. the closest thing i could say is titanium because it's of like car exhaust and things like that but yeah a million dollars eh, i don't know about that and yeah. i see those every time on like tiktok where like some guy will open up a box and he's like fifty four hundred dollars and i'm like <laughs> my what <laughs> what <laughs> black ice <laughs> pistol i'm like okay you're, you're winning, <laughs> I'm, I'm, dog. <laughs> I'm not i'm not i'm not spending 1400 dollars on that right. and like they're jumping up and down with hard-ons on i'm like what the hell's going on <laughs> Rise brick. okay Completely. yeah just, <laughs> i can just dude literally lift it up shit it on himself i'm just like okay and he's in the chat and he's showing the chat the chat's going crazy i'm like okay <laughs> i get i got it cool i guess i wish i could share actually, your excitement i really wish i could dude <laughs> I, I wish it must be euphoric i don't know like that dopamine hit must be wild my dumb ass would probably delete it not knowing what i got <laughs> be like oh man classic onyx cultured knife i'd be like okay that's cool and they'd be like it's the rarest thing in the game okay <laughs> deleted right <laughs> oh my God. what what would that's you a, for rarity i just you know what i can't knock it because i just spent the last month trying to get one weapon into division so but i'm not buying it yeah exactly. so i guess i guess i understand like i'm not spending fifteen hundred dollars or a couple hundred dollars on it i mean it's free it's just time you put into it but i don't know man uh, that's just that's wild to me my uh, my wife and you know her she would lose her shit I, yeah. she would lose all the biscuits and gravy to find out if i spent a couple hundred dollars on a weapon skin in a game that i can't tangibly touch and then the next game is not even available for you to use <laughs> <laughs> that would send her over the edge oh she would she she would blow a fucking gasket <laughs> all <laughs> over the place I don't know if I'd be married after that. <laughs> what would you rate so. the showcase? Honestly, eight out of ten. Yeah, I'd go with the same. Thought it was great. I think it's I awesome. Like now, That's how they execute it, you know, we'll see. That's a different how matter. the game, how some of those games play. If any of them, you know, if they live up to fifty percent of what I think they'll play with, it'll be an amazing thing for them. Yeah. Not that my opinion super matters, but just for me personally. <laughs> you know it would make me get game pass honestly yeah absolutely i, I already have so, it so i can't wait so you know there's that yeah. you know they can milk me dry for ten dollars a month or fifteen dollars a month to play <laughs> stalker or i don't know gears of war would be pretty cool too so yeah i don't know we'll see how it goes yep um, well thank you guys for listening 
make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell also let us know in the comments which uh titles you're looking forward to the most uh yeah which ones were your favorites also give us a rating what did you think uh, but yeah yeah thank you guys for listening oh. to us catch you guys on appreciate y'all goodbye deuces